Mitch Tongo. Welcome back to Native Sugar Shack, everyone. I'm Matt. Thanks for tuning in. So, yes, my videos are a little bit out of sequence, but, um, you know, we'll get caught up eventually. This is an unboxing of the Spider Farmer 2x4 Grow Tent Kit. I've been waiting to get this in for a little while, and, uh, you know, it's going to be used uh, as a nursery. I'm going to uh, germinate and make seeds in this tent. So as soon as I get uh, all the boxes out of the big box, get rid of the big box, let's go through it and see what we got. This is the filter, and it already comes with the sleeve already installed. That's a good feature. This would be the four inch fan. <clears throat> nice fan, nice color, I like it. And also in that box is the power cord. We'll go ahead and get that plugged in so we don't lose it. And got some instructions, set those aside. Okay, put all that away. And also in that box is the computer controller for the fan. Great setup. Okay, out of this box comes the SF2000. The SF series are great lights. I've been using SF4000s since they were released. It's been years ago now, right? It's been a while. Okay, and the light, uh, you know, it comes with all the standard light stuff, the hangers and the ratchet straps. Has everything that you need. In fact, this, uh, this entire kit comes with everything you could possibly need, even grow bags. So this is going to be the tent... And, uh, you know, standard stuff here. We got some straps. We got uh, several different poles and bars. And uh, something I'm really, really happy to see coming out of this box right here, metal corners. We don't want, we don't want plastic corners at all. And then we got a tent. Okay, let's see if uh, I can get this thing put together in this very small space.
Okay, so that wasn't too tough. Check it out. Got it all set up. I uh, got the light hung. Got my fan and filter installed. We'll take a closer look. So uh, just use the standard hardware to hang the SF2000. The um, wire hangers that are sent with the kit and the ratchet straps that came with the kit. You can see the uh, filter hanging over there in the corner. I didn't use the straps for the filter. I used zip ties to get it uh, zip tied up into that spot and uh, run the four inch uh, ducting right out the top. Everything came with the kit, guys. The ducting, the whole works. And the extra ducting that I had left over, I've uh, ran temporarily until I figure out how I want to set the, the uh, ducting up exactly. I've just got it uh, draped through one of the top portals coming from the floor of the room to the floor of the tent. So cold air to the bottom and hot air out the top. And down here, you can see the other things that uh, come with the kit, the timer, you know, light timer, the uh, grow bags, uh, the cord, if you want to daisy chain the light or get the uh, light controller and hook it up. It even comes with the trellis net, guys. It's got practically everything that you need. So up here, you can see how I installed the fan coming right out the top, installed the fan up on the wall. So I'm pulling the hot air right out of the top of the tent. Uh, this is the tool bag and the straps that came with the, uh, with the kit. Straps for the, um, for the fan and filter and tool bag you can hang inside the uh, tent if you want to keep stuff in there, which I don't. And then the tent also has some of these little hangers over here on the side. I'm not exactly sure what they're for. Uh, they're up against the wall there. Uh, I won't be using them, I guess. But you can see how I put the fan up on the wall and it just comes straight out the uh, from the filter inside the tent. And over here, I hung the controller. These walls are uh, one-inch uh, foam insulation board, guys. So there's nothing to uh, screw anything to. So I have to use these wood, uh, these boards on the wall to mount this stuff. But that's where I hung the controller. And once I start using this tent, I'll uh, be able to better set it up for air circulation and a uh, better place to, uh, you know, put the temperature probe and get everything going. But things I like about this tent right off the bat, check out these pull tabs for the zippers. And the zippers are really good. Um uh, no light leaks through the zippers. I, I turned the lights out and checked. No light leaks through the zippers. And on top of that, you've got this flap that hangs over the zipper to ensure that there's no light leaks. So it goes all the way around, all the way down around the, uh, the big front door here. And the stitching, you got double stitching on, uh, on all the seams and quadruple stitching, I think it is, at the corners. So really tough corners, always nice to have really tough corners and metal corner posts on the frame. Do not like uh, plastic corners at all. And we got a uh, support bar and uh, two uh, crossbars. Nice reflective uh, material throughout this tent and it's not uh, flat it's textured that's important don't want any hot spots so all of the reflective material inside the tent is textured and for ports I think I already mentioned we got three screened ports at the bottom the uh, covers on the outside are uh, velcro attached and up top we've got three round portals one, two, three. And uh, on the back of the tent, for uh, cables, we had a high and a low port on the back of the tent. So, yep, really nice uh, tent kit. Really happy to have it. Going to put it to good use. And remember, if you want one or you want to get your special grower someone one for Christmas, we do have that 8% discount code at spider-farmer.com that you can use and save yourself 8% on your total purchase. 
And that's going to do it for the video, guys. If you haven't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe and follow along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.